Hi, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Jenna Bales, a board certified behavior analyst in Ontario, Canada. And in this video, I am going to review how to create a multiple baseline across uh, mm -hmm. subjects or settings or behaviors graph. Uh, as you can see here, here's just a copy of what the completed graph looks like. Um, but up here we have our raw data and I'm going to go through and actually create it step by step. So this graph is actually comprised of three separate graphs all put in together. So first of all, we're going to select our first participant, grab his baseline and intervention data, and then either using the insert tab in charts here or the shortcut up here we're going to choose a line with markers graph uh, for this graph we're going to make all the ABA convention changes to it before adding in the other graphs just to, so that we don't have to do it three separate times uh, so the main changes I'm going to make first of all uh, you need to click the design tab and I'm going to change it into black and white or black black and white so that when it's printed it's um, readable. Okay, uh, we're going to right click on the graph and choose format chart area. And then we are going to take the line off of the border. These types of graphs don't have lines on the border. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to select the grid lines and we're just going to hit delete because we don't want those grid lines on there. Okay. So now I'm going to just click onto the graph and copy it. And then I'm going to paste it in two more times. Okay, so right now all three graphs are grabbing Andrew's data. We want to change that. So if we click on the second graph, as you can see, it's graphing his data. What we want to do is just drag it over and then drag this over this way. And now this graph is Barry's information. Okay, so same thing with this graph. We're going to click on the graph. It's showing Andrews. So we're just going to drag it over and select Caleb's data. So now all three graphs have the same conventions and they are highlighting the information of the person that they should be. Okay, so we want to put them together. I'm just going to move them a little bit. And for this, you can actually hide the um, numbers of the other two because you're just going to leave the numbers on the bottom. As you can see here, um, you only see the numbers on the horizontal axis down here. Okay, so all we need to do is just put the graphs on top of each other like that. Whoops, try to make them a little even. Okay, so now we're going to give the title a, have a title, so it's multiple baseline. Okay, and then the other titles and such are made by inserting a text box. Going to insert the text box here of our baseline and intervention data. I believe that's going to have a border on it. So if you click on it and go into format and shape outline, you can either turn it white or you can just select no outline and it's going to take that outline off of it. Okay, now instead of creating this three times and doing that three times, again, we're just going to copy it, we're going to paste it, and bring it over. We will need to make a few adjustments just because the, um, the spacing is going to be a bit off, but that's okay. And we'll paste it in again, and then we will add it in there. Um, this chart title, if you select it, you can just delete it. And then if you select that one, whoops, select that, you can just delete that title as well. Okay, so now we can move this around to make it fit. Okay, 
going to make that smaller because we don't want to hide any of our data. And then you just hit the um, enter or the, the big long, I think it's spacebar to move that where you want it to be. And then do the same thing over here. We're going to make this smaller so it's not marking off our data. We're going to move it up a little bit. And we're going to go in and hit the space bar. We need to make it a little bit bigger. Hit the space bar so that it's in line with the actual data. Okay, so the rest of it, the lines here, are actually done by inserting lines. So we go up to the Insert tab and select a line. And we're going to draw the line in. It's movable, so the important thing is to get it straight. If we go back to format, we can change it black. And then if we copy this line again, instead of recreating and fixing it up so many times, if we paste it in, we can just move it to where we want it. Okay, they're all adjustable. So now we're going to do the same thing, insert line, and this one is going to go sideways. Again, we're going to go to the format tab to turn it the same color. We might have to do a little bit of adjustments here. So this maybe isn't quite long enough. We're going to move that there. We're just going to connect them all up so that they uh, make sense. Okay, we're going to copy this one. Actually, I'm going to move that down a little so it's easier to see. It's a little bit finicky, but okay. And then the last thing we want to do if we are going to do a figure caption, especially if you're a student of applied behavior analysis, you probably have to do this as an assignment. Um, so you're going to go to insert text, text box, and you're just going to draw it in underneath. Again, you're going to need to go to the format tab to take off the color because it starts with an outline. And then you can just type in your figure caption wherever it is. Whoops, the outline didn't come off. Hang on. Let me try this again. Okay, in that time it came up. So, one last thing here. Do you want to label, whoops, we do want to label our vertical axis. And here it was just frequency, so. Oh, and one last thing, almost forgot. We're going to use text boxes again in order to label um, whatever the condition is. So this one happens to be across subjects. So we just put the subject name in. Um, again, we're going to want to go to the format and make sure there is no outline. And if we just copy and paste that down, we can just change out the name. Second subject is Barry. And our third subject is Caleb. And there you have it, your completed multiple baseline across subjects design or behaviors or locations, whatever, whatever type you're doing.
Thank you for tuning in and I hope this is helpful.